Welcome to Hello Self. It's a podcast focused on turning your cans into cans and your dreams into plans. I am your host, coach, and author, Patricia Leonard. Well, hello there. It's always so nice to open up my podcast, Hello Self, and have the opportunity to speak to each of you, my listeners. I am Patricia Leonard, and I am the host of Hello Self Podcast. And for the next four podcasts, I will be coming to you through my Hello Self book content. Because I believe that 2024 is a new chapter for many of us in our society, in our own mindsets, and in the way we behave. And one of the things that I want to do with these four episodes is to help you, my listeners, and anybody else that you want to help get clear about who they are. After all, that is what the book is about, is identifying who you are and how you express that to the world and how you impact others' lives as well as your own. So this is a transformative year for changing the trajectory of our life if we choose. And I think the first thing that uh, helps us do that is to be be clear about who we are as individuals. In earlier podcasts, I have talked about, and I mentioned this in my book, Stephen Covey uh, talks about in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, that everything begins with you. Our society changes because when you change yourself, You impact those around you, and it's just the ripple effect going out. So I believe that this is our opportunity, 2024, to change our own lives, the quality of them, the direction of them, and that begins with us getting clear about who we are and what we want. So my goal today is taking one of those episodes, which is about you identifying who you are. And the second podcast will be focused on your mission, your purpose, as you see it. And the third one will be, how do I express that knowing about myself now? How do I go about doing it? And then podcast four is looking at, or episode four, is looking at What are some ways that I could make that transition? So we will be going through this step by step. But today, it's really about identifying who you are. And I've got these things in my book. And if you're interested, you could get my Hello Self book on Amazon. And uh, I, I would recommend that, not to sell something, but to help you Uh, validate what I have seen, and it is simply my idea of how we wake up. How we wake up to who we are, because I believe that most of us don't even know who we are. That's why we go to coaches. That's why we go to webinars. That's why we go to church. That's why we go to sporting events. Everything in life has an opportunity to help us wake up. However, I believe that sometimes our mindsets that we've had from our own experiences or whatever those mindsets, wherever they were created from our childhood or what, whatever, and sometimes they get in the way because I believe that a positive mindset can help us move through those times that we don't know which way to go next. We have to get to know ourselves. And these episodes take on an educating, empowering, and engaging approach because I don't want you just to sit here and listen to something that I'm saying or to some what some coach is saying. 
I want you to be able to identify through your own process, and I'll offer some ideas, but through your own conversation with self. We don't often have conversations with ourselves. We're too busy looking at the next episode in our life or looking at what someone out there has said. Oh, that's who you are. Society will mold us and put us in a box if we allow that. But if we know who we are, we know how to go for the positions that we want and we know how to build relationships. We know how to invest in capital for ourselves, not only money, but in opportunities. So that's why I think that this podcast is really important. And I think it's about your next chapter because 2024, from an esoteric standpoint, is a year of major transformation for each of us. And what that requires of us is you go to college to get an education. Well, to get to know ourselves is the same kind of thing. You don't have to go to college, but that is one way you could learn it. But this is really about talking to yourself. Do you ever just say, hello, self? Who are you today? And you're honest in your answers about who you are. I just told someone yesterday, I'm feeling sad. And so then I had to try to discover inside of me, why are you feeling sad, Patricia? So that's what today is about, is finding those masks, and that's what I call them, the masks that we take on to uh, stay away from her, to fit in society, to think that this is who we are. And masks is not the way um, to find out who we are. Oh, yeah, we can put on a mask, and we're going to talk about some of those. But in my research for how I wanted this first episode to go, I ran across Shel Silverstein. And if you all know, he writes children's books. And I took this poem, because I really liked it a lot, from his book, Everything on It. And he talks about masks. Here's the poem. She had blue skin, and so did he. He kept it hid, and so did she. They searched for blue their whole life through, then passed right by and never knew. Do we know who we are, or do we keep searching, or do we just accept? And I want to talk a little bit about the mask we wear. But before I do that, I want to share this one. We wear the mask. And whether you admit it or not, you do wear masks. And you, I always say that we've put on so many masks of who we are that we have diluted the understanding of who we are simply by all these masks. And they've become confusing. So here's one more. I saw that Paul Lawrence Dunbar had written several things about the mask we wear. And I like this one. And then we're going to move on to the mask you wear. And I'll help you identify how you can find that out. We wear the mask that grins and lies. It hides our cheek and shades our eyes. This debt we pay to human guile, with torn and bleeding hearts we smile, and mouth with myriad subtleties. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? Nay, let them only see us while we wear the mask. We smile, but oh, great Christ, our cries. To thee from tortured souls arise. We sing, but oh, the day that clay is vile beneath our feet and long the mile. But let the world dream otherwise. We wear the mask. 
So we wear these masks so others can't really see who we are and how we feel about ourselves. And this episode is about unmasking. So I ask you, why do you wear a mask of who you really are? Does your mask fool you? Of course, it does sometimes. Yeah, because we get to the point that we truly think that who that mask woman is or that mask man <laughs> is the real person because we have lived this way so much of our life. And I want to make this positive, even though it might start out like, yeah, I don't know who I am. We don't because we discover in the moments. Mask we wear to hide from who we truly are. Now, why do we wear those masks? Because we do not like who we are? That's a question. What can we do to start liking who we are? If I took off my mask, oh my gosh, people would see who I was. What do you not like about yourself? What do you like about yourself? Do you show that? Or do you hide behind a mask? I ask you, please get your logbook out now or a piece of paper and write your statements down to some of these questions and to some of these moments that I will be sharing with you. I'd I like to say one thing is, why do I know these kind of things? I'm not any smarter than anybody else, and I'm not any smarter than you. I simply have made a choice that I want to know who Patricia Leonard is. I don't want to have any regrets at the end of my line and say, oh, I wish I would have done that, or I wish I would have told her that, or I wish I would have hugged a little more. So I want us to start identifying the mask that each of you wear. I'm not going to ask you, just put them in your logbook because this work is all for you. What are some of the masks you wear? Clothing? Hair color? I can relate to that. Boob enhancement? Caps to cover our balding head? Hair pieces? Shoes with height enhancers? <laughs> I love high heels. Fancy cars, expensive furnishing, college degrees. Do we think that makes us better or we go, no. Does that make us smart? Maybe and maybe not. Maybe not so much about life. The company we keep. Is this another mask we wear? Our imaginings or pretend selves. Do you pretend to be this person or that person? Jobs and careers we have, do they make us who we are? Is a title your mask? But you know what? I could go on and on, and you're probably getting the point now. Oh, be quiet, Patricia. I think I got it. But I'm going to leave it up to you to finish identifying your own mask. This work is not about you telling me about the mask you wear, but getting real with yourself about the mask you wear. So it's getting real with yourself uh, about who you are and how these masks and mindsets get in the way of who we are. So please hear, I, there's many masks poems out there. And I really like this one. I'm not going to read it, but I really like it. Please hear what I'm not saying by Cardinal Theoden. Get out there and look that poem up and read it. It's going to also help you figure out who am I. So I'm going to go some questions now since we've talked a little bit about the mask we hide behind. And you'll be identifying your own mask. 
So I'm going to ask you this uh, series of questions. And again, jog down your thoughts about this. On a scale of one to five, where would you rate your personal and career satisfaction? So are you happy with your life? Are you happy with your career? Are you happy with your relationships? Are you happy where you live geographically? It's just you beginning to get to know you. Question two, if you had a conversation with yourself about your rating that you just gave yourself on one to, oh, I forgot to say, one to five rating, where is your satisfaction in your personal life and your career in a one to five? You're giving this rating to yourself. So now question two, if you had a conversation with yourself about your rating, what do you think would you would discover? Why am I at a three or why am I at a one? I don't like my job. I don't. So ask yourself, why did I give myself that rating? Or if I give myself a 10, am I still hiding behind some mess? So this is all about getting honest with yourself. Question number three, do you have a best friend? What are the attributes of that best friend that you admire? Because I think in most cases, we all admire things in somebody else that we are even, that we are ourselves, even if we haven't said that to ourselves. I was listening to Joel Osteen this past Sunday, and I thought it was very interesting. He talked about the intruders in our life. And he was talking about one of the intruders is doubtful, worry. You can't do that. You don't have the talent. So these intruders come in. And he said, start being a landlord and just say, I'm moving you out today. I thought it was very interesting that I wanted to do this podcast today. And I tuned in to his show on Sunday. And all of a sudden, it was like he was speaking to what I'm going to do on Monday. And that is discovering who we are. Because he says, that others can cause us to uh, bring in things that we would never think about ourselves simply because a lot of times we compare or we put somebody else up on a pedestal because they're doing things. Put yourself up on that pedestal. Question number four, do you practice those attributes yourself that you see in others that you admire? Give three examples of attributes that you have that you admire in others and that you practice. Question number five, what are three talents you possess? Something you like to do, something you're good at, something others have told you were good at, something that comes easy for you, Something you daydream about being or doing. So look at your talents and say, you know what? I've wanted to do this, but I've always been doubtful that I could speak to people. I get scared in front of people. I always get doubtful that I wanted to play sports and I thought, I can't learn to skate. I want to write a book, but I don't even know where to begin, and I'm not a really good writer. All of these statements are the mindset that we must release this year in order to live our dreams, goals, mission, purpose. And the only way we're going to start releasing those is to recognize them. So that's what Hello Self is about. When you have these hello self moments about who you are or who you're putting down, 
I think it was funny. I was on a podcast just a few minutes ago with somebody who is going to interview me on their radio show. And she said, tell me a little bit about yourself and hello self. And I said, well, a little bit about me as I like to write, blah, blah, blah. But then at the end, I said, I really want to get my hello self out there more, but I'm not a good marketer for myself. Do you see what I just did? And she said, oh, that's not your strongest attribute, but do you know how to market yourself? And the whole thing is, it made me start to think, Patricia, that's a mindset that you have about what you can or can't do, and it affects who you are and the way you behave. That's what mindsets do, is they hold us down. So do like Joel, kick them out. You haven't paid your rent, and I'm not letting you in. <laughs> Question number six. Do you, do these acknowledgments seem like bragging? Now, what I've asked you to do is to write some things down about you that you like and you're good at. So maybe just to acknowledge the gifts that you have. And maybe you haven't used them. Or maybe you have and go back to that point and say, oh, my goodness, I used that gift at such and such a time. So what we normally, as human beings, think that if we say good things about ourselves, that it's bragging. So do any of these acknowledgments make you feel like you're bragging about who you are? And is there a difference between bragging about self to self and empowering self by acknowledging self to self? So is there a difference between the term bragging and acknowledgement specifically about who you are? So these are the things I'd like you to do in for episode one is just write down and do a little work and don't say, oh, I'll do it later. No, you know what I'm suggesting? While you're watching this or looking or listening to it, get your logbook out and start writing down. Or at least get it, say, I'm going to do it within a day or so. Now give yourself a hug for being open to Hello Self Conversation as a first step. So I want you to start acknowledging yourself and say, Patricia, you did a good job. So look at those things because this is what the book is about. And this is what acknowledging ourselves is about, is awakening to the knowing of who you are is what you're doing in hopes that it will ignite the flame of desire for becoming who you can truly be. So my goal here in this very first podcast is to begin with you. That's what Stephen Covey and that's what everybody says. Well, I know for a fact I can say, oh, I wish she would change or I wish they would change or I am, I don't know. She's always that way. Or instead of making those kind of statements, about there you go again, Patricia, you failed again. You said you were going to do this and you haven't followed through. So acknowledge that there are times that we have to say, we have to talk to ourselves. You're going to do it today or you're going to do it tomorrow. So don't put yourself off. You're the most important person in Hello Self. And begin to acknowledge the gift you are. To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. That is per Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I like this one too. I'm a big Shakespeare fan. And from Shakespeare's play, Hamlet, he says, To thine own self be true. 
That is the goal of awakening to our wonderful selves. The world definitely needs each of us to show up. Don't let the conversation be about later because this first hello self is really, it, it's a mindset change. It's a being in the moment kind of thing and watching yourself. How do you act? How do you behave? What is it you believe? Are you acknowledging those beliefs? Because that's the way to wake up to who we are. Now, my next podcast, as I mentioned, will take it to the next step of identifying what your values and your mission and your goals are specifically in playing out this aware woman, aware man, aware child that you have now discovered. So how would that change episode two and what you're going to go after? And we will spend uh, about the same amount of time looking at how do you express now that you know who you are? What are you going to do next? to get more clear and acknowledge who you are and show the world. So it's about stepping in and stepping up. Remember, Hello Self is about taking our dreams and goals to the next level. And that's what 2024 is about. It's a new chapter in your life. And you're the creator, the author of it, the you're writing the autobiography. As a matter of fact, my Hello Self book is written in frames like a movie. So when you go through that, step two or frame two will begin to identify what is it I believe in and how do I go about that expression in my life. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have found this valuable and that it helps you become more clear about who you are and gives you a step up on the next chapter in your life. I'm Patricia Leonard. I always say that. Your host on Hello Self. And remember, when we sign off, I always say, keep dreaming, keep loving yourself, and keep bragging to yourself or acknowledging yourself to self because that's the person who can change that uh, trajectory that you may be on now that you're not totally satisfied with. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you the next time in Hello Self Podcast. Thank you for joining Hello Self today and may it offer insight and inspire you to stay on your runway to success. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember this, keep dreaming.